Humanitarian mine action and just in general detecting mines and UXO is really a very slow process. People rely on manual methods almost entirely and that requires walking on the ground, creating grids, and then very carefully sweeping with a metal detector and prodding to see if there's a mine there. Being a bomb technician is a dangerous job. What we're trying to do here is develop innovative new methods that can use drones and utilize the ability to not actually step on a minefield, but before you even step on it, map it out and understand where the hazards are. You can fly a drone over first and then understand the extent of contamination. The magnetometer can detect metals. The ground penetrating radar can detect plastics that are buried. Surface ordnance can be detected with thermal or visual cameras. I view the advantage of drones not necessarily to replace humans. There's always going to be a human element to demining. Humans have to be the ones to make the final decision what to demine and in order to clear it, they have to clear it as well. The artificial intelligence is definitely going to become very relevant. These are all geophysical signatures or visual signatures. Essentially, if a human analyst can look at it and say, that is a mine there, with enough training data, you can teach an algorithm to identify those same things. My background is in geology and earth sciences. Earth sciences in general have a lot of really great skills that can be applied to solving humanitarian mine action issues. So our training is in understanding the earth or systems in that nature. So we can apply that knowledge and the landmines are in the earth. So if you can understand the earth really well, you can understand where there's anomalies and where to detect the landmines. It's a really global humanitarian crisis that's often overlooked, especially in America and in Western countries that don't face it on a day to day. Because if you're going to school, you're not worried about walking through a field and stepping on a mine. It's not something that you're thinking about, but it is a really big issue in many, many countries. I was recently in Ukraine. There are not only mines in Ukraine, but there's other unexploded ordnance and munitions. There's estimates that up to 30% are duds. So if you can imagine launching 100 grenades, maybe 30 of them are sitting there and didn't explode and they're just ready to explode. So a lot of farmers we talk to are trying to clear mines themselves and it's really not something that they're trained to do. They're using farm equipment to drag giant missiles that have landed in their fields and essentially they need a lot of help and they're trying to take into their own hands. And there's a lot more funding dollars that are going into developing offensive techniques to weaponize drones and AI. At least I hope we can contribute to working on trying to mitigate those effects.